guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. Today I'm going to be collabing with my friend here on YouTube, her name is Claudia. She also does makeup tutorials and beauty related videos. She's so beautiful and talented. I'm going to link her channel and her video down below, so make sure to check it out, give it a like and subscribe. Now if you want to learn how to recreate this look, keep on watching. I'm going to start by priming my face with the Nivea Men Sensitive Aftershave Balm. And as weird as this seems, this is really good and it really works. Moving on to foundation, I'm gonna use my go-to, it's the MAC Match Master in number 1. And I'm just, you know, buffing it into my skin. For that flawless finish, I like using circular motions to blend. For concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Chantilly, it's the lightest shade. Obviously, I'm basically as white as my shirt, so you know, this part I'm gonna sort of, you know, speed through. But if you wanna see a foundation routine or a highlighting and contour routine, definitely let me know so I can get that done. To blend this concealer, I'm using a damped beauty sponge. In some areas, I have some blemishes, so I'm also applying the same concealer there. I like to set my cream products with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I mainly apply this on my under eyes to prevent my concealer from creasing. But with the rest of the product I have on this brush, I like applying it on the rest of the face as well. For bronzer, I'm not gonna be bronzing and contouring. I'm gonna be doing it all on the same, so it's gonna be like contour slash bronzer. And this is the MAC Harmony blush, and it's not a blush, by the way. I'm applying it under my cheekbones, on my forehead, and of course under my chin. For blush, I'm using this Leek Makeup in Antique. It's just such a beautiful wearable color. It has a little touch of plum in it. Finally, to highlight my face, I'm using my Holy Grail. This is the Balm Mary Luminizer. It's the best highlighter ever. It's so pigmented and I'm applying it on my cheekbones, also on my cupid's bow and on my nose. I actually did my eyebrows off camera. I have a eyebrow tutorial. It's a little outdated, so if you want to see a updated version, let me know. Priming my eyes with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. To set my primer in place, I like using a white shadow. This is this Leek Makeup Pillow Talk. Still from the same palette, I'm using maple. It's just such a beautiful burgundy color and I'm applying it on my crease. I like applying my eyeshadows in an oval shape. If you prefer a little more cat-eyed, you can also do that. But for this look, I tried keeping things really round. Don't worry if it looks a little rough, we're gonna blend everything later, so just keep going. I'm applying the same shadow under my eyes, so they connect from your lower lash line to the crease. And I actually applied a little bit on the outer corner of my eyes. For the extra pop of pink, I'm using Alchemy from the Vice Tree Palette by Urban Decay. We are gonna create a C shape on the outer corner and on the inner corner. Try to avoid applying shadow on the middle. With basically no eyeshadow on the brush, you can connect those C shapes. Now I'm just intensifying the shadow, I'm packing a lot more and blending it as I go. Also, I'm bringing that same shadow on my under eye. I just want to go to the middle of my under eye and then it's done. Now with the same brush we used before, it's a fluffy brush, this is the MAC 217. I'm blending everything together and I still want to keep some sort of definition to the look. In order to achieve a spotlight eye makeup, I'm choosing Bob Dazzle from the Vice Tree Palette. And this is a very pigmented white, it has a lot of shimmer in it, so any shadow with shimmer in it will do the job. I'm applying it at first with my finger and then for a more perfect shape, I'm using a synthetic brush.
to blend the white with the pink, I'm gonna be using the same shadow we used before. I'm going with a more defined, smaller blending brush and I'm applying so little shadow. I'm basically applying no shadow whatsoever. So the key for this look is blending. As you can see, I do that a lot. To line my eyes, as usual, I'm using the Maybelline Liner Express. I'm obsessed with black liner, so that's a must for me. And for my mascara, I'm using the Maybelline The Colossal. This is just perfection. I love this mascara. I have it for so long that I'm not even gonna tell how many years I do have this exact mascara. So yeah, let's keep that as a secret for now. One day I might tell you guys. It's disgusting. And then to line my lips, I'm using MAC Night Moth. This lip pencil is so beautiful and I love using it on its own. But today we're actually gonna create a glossy finish on top of it. So I'm just lining my lips and filling them in. For the glossy finish, I'm using this Leak Makeup um, Havana palette. And the shade we're gonna pick up is called Rum. I'm applying it with a lip brush. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching! If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you next time! Bye!